A very good Sunday morning to you, everybody. A special edition of your Aggieland Carpet One Forecast. Chief Meteorologist Shell Winkley alongside with you. Want to get you updated. We're in its early this morning, just ahead of showers and thunderstorms that are expected to move into the Brazos Valley. And really over the past four to five years, I would say this is probably the most heightened weather day that we've had in quite some time. So what are we talking about here? Well, this is put out by the Storm Prediction Center. Everywhere you see the orange, which is pretty much all of the Brazos Valley is under what we call an enhanced risk for severe weather. Basically, damaging winds will be a very big concern today as a cold front approaches, as well as a threat for a few tornadoes. Now, again, most heightened that we've had in a while. What you're looking at here is the tornado probabilities and the areas that you see in blue. So Bryan College Station, Navasota, down to Hempstead, points off to the east. That has what we call a 10% chance for an EF2 or greater tornado within a 25 mile radius. Now, does that mean we're going to have an outbreak of tornadoes in the Brazos Valley? No, but it means that there is the potential in the atmosphere right now, especially with this cold front approaching, that any storm that develops, and especially ahead of that cold front, could turn strong to severe and will have the potential to create a tornado situation for the area. So that is what we're watching very closely here in the Brazos Valley. Let me get to your pinpoint forecast and we'll show you what we're dealing with here for today. So the cold front's expected to move in by about six to eight o'clock across our northeastern county or northwestern counties rather. Notice those areas in reds and yellows. That's where we're going to be watching very closely. That's where we could have some isolated thunderstorms and that's where the severe weather threat really opens by about sunrise or so. Around 9, 10 o'clock, that line of thunderstorms is from Centerville to Madisonville here in Bryan and College Station to Brenham through about 10, 11 o'clock or so. The threat for severe weather should be shifting across the uh, Highway 6 corridor for the most part and into the eastern and southern Brazos Valley by noon. And then we'll watch it through about 2 to 4 o'clock across the far eastern side of the Brazos Valley. Even after this becomes a line of thunderstorms, there could still be an embedded uh, tornado situation or two. So again, Things are monitoring closely, the damaging wind threat, but also the potential for uh, isolated tornado, maybe some hail and some heavy rain. One to three inches of rainfall will be possible for the Brazos Valley. Don't get locked in on the exact totals here, but localized areas of four, maybe five inches of rain can't be ruled out. All right, so how do you know if the severe weather threat is ongoing? Well, if you feel the colder air, your severe weather threat is done. Here's how we're going to track the cold front again. Six to eight o'clock are in northwestern counties. Cameron Hearn, your severe weather threat should be over by then. By about 10 to noon across Bryan and College Station, the central portions of the Brazos Valley, and getting into the later portions of the day as that cold front sweeps off towards the east, the severe weather threat will end. The rain chance will continue, but the severe weather threat should be over once that colder air arrives. We've got more details at kbtx.com on the homepage. We're keeping up with things there. We'll link it to this video as well. Interactive Pinpoint Radar will be with us. You can follow us here on Facebook, over on Twitter, and as things evolve, if need be, we'll be on air on KBTX to let you know the latest situation. Meteorologist Max Crawford and I, plus a slew of storm spotters in the Brazos Valley are up, they are out, and they are waiting this morning to keep you up to date on what is going on with the weather. Again, more details later today, but for right now, that is the latest as we sit and we wait and we watch to see if this thunderstorm potential really can come together for the Brazos Valley. We'll check back with you very soon.